Are you healthy? Am I healthy? Our ability to perceive our health and our body is somewhat limited. And so we want to be asking ourselves good quality questions and paying attention to what our bodies are going through and what our bodies are telling us so that we can have an accurate perception of our health. Because we've all probably heard stories of a family member, or even known someone personally, where they were healthy and then three days later they had a heart attack and died. Now, three days earlier, prior to that event, were they healthy? I think the answer would be no. They just were not aware of what was going on with their health. Their perception of their health was inaccurate. If you are a running and grinding person and you don't really have any symptoms whatsoever, and then all of a sudden you get knocked off your, kind of off your feet with a cancer diagnosis, were you healthy? And I'm going to argue that the answer to that was no. There was some stuff going on probably for at least the preceding months, potentially preceding years, that were leading to health dysfunction that we may not have been aware of or perceptive to that led to our decision making, that led to that process getting worse. And so the reason why I'm shooting this video is what are tools that we can use ourselves to increase our health perception without going to any doctors, without getting any lab work done. Of course, those are all good things, by the way. We want to be checking in on our health. We want to be seeing what our blood levels are. We want to be seeing what our blood pressure is. We want to be seeing how our spinal posture is. We want to see how our spine is moving. We want to be getting checked and adjusted regularly. But we also just want to increase our ability to perceive our own health. And so we know when to seek the health care and advice of others when needed. But then even before that, we can seek better decision making stuff along the way well before things get worse. And so I just have a couple questions here that I wanted to ask you. Uh, it's actually from a good book I was reading last night. It was just challenging uh, me and the readers just on how they perceive their health. And so some questions that she was asking, because what tends to happen with our health is we get kind of bombarded with information over a long period of time so that we don't really see it all in one spot all at once unless we very purposely look at it. And so with our health, we'll go to the dentist here, we'll go to the MD here, we'll go to the chiro over here, and we get different things happening. But until we look at our health in its entirety all at once, we're not really getting a good perspective on where we're at. And then that may or may not be giving you the best decision-making skills to stay healthy. And so the questions that she was asking were, what clinical diagnoses have you received in your lifetime? And are you still having those with you? So have you been diagnosed with high blood pressure? Have you been diagnosed with a mental health disorder? Have you been diagnosed with XYZ? Now, just as a chiropractic perspective, I'm not a big diagnosis fan. Um, yes, I have to do it uh, just for documentation purposes, but really I would rather look at what could be potentially causing these problems. And if we restore the function to the cause or if we, we directly address the cause, the downstream diagnosis, the downstream symptom will lessen and get better on its own. Because if we just play symptom suppression game, if you have high blood pressure and you just take blood pressure medication and you ignore the cause of that diagnosis, you're not going to be healthier as a result, or you're going to significantly still suffer health consequences until you deal with that cause. And so for any clinical diagnosis you have, I'm gonna recommend you do one extra step. What potentially could be causing this, and it's not a result of a deficiency or drugs or medications, I can tell you that. Uh, it's either a deficiency in movement, a deficiency in nutrition, excess stress, uh, maybe a deficiency in good chiropractic care. Um, there is some sort of essential aspect of your life that you're missing. If you need help, just ask me, I'll help you. Um, what A list of all the prescriptions you're taking, back to the questions, a list of all the prescriptions you're taking and why. All on one page, all the diagnoses you have, all the prescriptions you have, all the potential causes. A list of all the over-counter, over-the-counter medications you're taking and why and how often are you taking them? 
a list of every surgery you've ever had performed or that you're going to have scheduled or that you potentially may need. Uh, the number of visits and to what provider. Are you going to urgent care? Are you going to MDs? Are you going to chiropractors, PTs, massages? Are there body parts that alert you on a regular basis? Do you frequently get knee pain? Do you frequently get a pain in your back? Do you frequently get um, eye strain? Do you frequently have tension between your shoulders? Are there body parts that hurt right now? Okay, and so there are causes to these problems. These are problems that are a result of some sort of issue. And so we want to be addressing these issues, but we want to get everything on one page so that we can perceive our health accurately. Are there body parts that aren't functioning well? Does your digestive system work properly? Um, do you get stomach pain with certain foods? Do you have pain in your knee while you walk? Um, are there health issues that you worry about currently or that you're worried about that you may suffer with in the future? Are you worried about potentially suffering with diabetes? Are you worried about uh, potential weight gain? We want to get all these things on one page because then we can more accurately see the big picture of our health. Because what tends to happen is we tend to perceive ourselves as healthy when we feel good. And then we have a short memory at times, especially when we're feeling good now, we have a short memory of when we weren't feeling bad and so, or when we were feeling bad. So say you had significant back pain a month ago, but now you feel good, but you haven't really done anything for your back. You don't really, it's not on the forefront of your mind, but there could be a ticking time bomb with a bulging disc there or something like that. And so we want to just get everything down on one page so that we can perceive ourselves accurately. Once we have all this information, then we're, we're more apt to make better decisions with our health, make better decisions regarding our fitness, the providers we see, the frequency which we see them. Maybe this is going to drive you to finally get your spine checked. That would be so smart. That'd be so smart of you to go to the chiropractor, get your spine checked, because then we can properly kind of make sure that spine is working well, we can check it because pain is an awful indicator of function, particularly with spine. But then also your brain controls everything in your body. And when your brain can't talk through your spine, to your heart, to your lungs, to your arm, down your leg, there's going to be symptoms as a result. There's going to be a lack of function as a result. And so if you're looking to feel and perform your best, if you're seeing things on this sheet of paper that are concerning for you, Give a health professional a call. Give me a call and I will help you with it because your health should be your number one priority because if anything in your health suffers, if you start to have a lack of health, it's going to affect everything in your life. Your ability to serve your family, your ability to perform at work, your ability to pursue your fitness and your hobbies because we have to take care of ourselves. This is the only body we get. We can't do body transplants. We can't do spine transplants. Um, so we want to make sure that we take good care of this machine that we mortar around in because it's the only one we get and we just want to take care of it so it does and takes care of us for the rest of our days. I look forward to serving you in the future. If you have any questions, just don't hesitate to give us a call.